Land ho! We can finally see the Dominican in the distance. It's been so long since we've been in land, like over a week, or a week, I guess. So it'll be great to finally get there and dock up and go check things out. What are we doing here, Robert? What are we doing right now? Oh. Tacking. With our only sail. That we can actually fly. <laughs> what happened to our other sail? We are tearing it somehow. Oh, what happened? Oh, we'll figure it out. How fast are we going? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll get there. Just we need, I think we do have enough fuel. Oh, I guarantee we do, especially at 1500. What are, how, or how many RPMs are we at? Are we at 1500 still? Yeah, we're at 1500. Yep, 1500 RPMs. We bailed on Puerto Rico. Why did we bail on Puerto Rico? The Tell me. The waves sucked. Yeah, it was <laughs> rough, wasn't it? Yeah. We had, what, at least three meters today, right? Yeah, something like that. It's, I mean, it's still pretty rough with the waves. And they were beamed. The waves are now spread out pretty good. Well, this isn't near what it was earlier today. Yeah. We had, well, we had two waves coming in. We had one wave on the side, one wave behind, and it was just a mess. It was nasty. It just looked like... It looked like a washing machine. That's what it looked and like. We were and, they were, and they were real short, too. We were getting washed. And they were real short, yeah, too. Yeah, real short. We were getting washed. It was not comfy. All right. All right it looks pretty good. We got the sail full. I, I don't know how good this works at night. We got the sail full. And where are we headed? Uh, what direction are we headed now? Straight direct two? Yeah, direct two. All right. Well, there you go. We'll check in in a little bit. How many days have we been at sea? I lost track. It's day six, right? Yeah, it's rough. These waves are not comfy. Not comfy at all. Last night, we discovered a tear in the mainsail. So we had to take the mainsail down. We are about two days away from our destination. So we decided to take a little bit of a detour on our passage and head to the Dominican Republic first. And then we will continue on to Puerto Rico. There's where we're going. Nothing for miles. Average speed 6.8, max speed 13, and 91 miles since midnight last night. It is, I don't know, almost, oh, there it is, it's 124. This is what we do. It's kind of a little bit of a mess because we haven't felt like cleaning because we've been kind of uh, bouncing around. You can't really tell the size of the waves when you're back here, but those are definitely bigger than us. We'll go up and see what Lauren's doing. What are you doing, Lauren?
at sunset on our sixth day. Um, still headed on. We're on a run to the Dominican Republic. There's a storm brewing out in the, in by Bermuda, which was one of our bailout spots. We're really glad we didn't bail out to Bermuda because that would have been pretty horrible, probably right about now. Um, but still disappointed we're to Puerto Rico, but we're headed to the DR and probably still two days. Unfortunately, our mainsail ripped, so we have some repairs to do, so we're not flying our mainsail currently. I could try to do something on it, but we're on a dead, like we're going straight downwind, so it wouldn't do much. Um, and the waves are really uncomfortable to go, really anything but straight. Uh, we have two opposing waves, one coming in on the side, one coming in straight from behind. So when the side ones hit us, we get kicked up a good bit. Um, but it's not horrible now. It's gotten a little better. It was worse yesterday and the day before. But it's been a pretty long sail. Um, I think we're all ready to see land soon. the Celebrity Apex coming within a mile and a half of us. I've talked to them on the radio, but I'd really rather them be a little bit further than that even. They told me to uh, keep on my current, current course and speed, and I'm like, well, I'm a sailboat. I can't exactly control the speed. They said, we see you. They were very hard to understand. But according to this, it shows they're going to meet us within a mile, a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half in nine minutes. So I've been watching this guy and it's kind of been freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, it's the Celebrity Apex and it's a thousand foot long and it is a big boat and it kind of scares me. If they right. sink us, we jump off and we probably won't live, but at least our families will get rich. Yeah. I don't want this guy within 
that close to me though. I've been watching him for about 20 miles, getting closer, and I finally contacted him because I was like, "You've got, I don't want you within." Now it shows a mile and yeah, about a mile and a quarter. Yeah, and I couldn't hardly understand her either. We technically have the right of way because if you see, here's us. This is celebrity coming at us, so we've, we're on the right side of him. And she said, "Oh, we'll, we'll pass by your stern. He's close, but we're fine." What are you gonna do? Drop the light. And this is all happening while Robert is asleep. Yeah. Boy, that thing looks bigger and bigger though. Here, I'll see if I can show you out here. Yeah, you can't really tell here, but that's a big boat. Yeah, they're gonna go right behind us. We'll get some good video. All right, so it's Friday, it's the last night. Um, unfortunately, we won't get to Puerto Rico, right? I said that earlier. We rerouted from our initial destination, Puerto Rico, to Dominican Republic, just because that storm hit Bermuda and brought really uncomfortable weather and potentially unsafe. It's been a long trip. I think we're all definitely ready to hit land. Um, should be there in probably about five hours, maybe six. We're still motor sailing. Um, you know, we had the, we got a tear in our main, so we had to limp in as far as if the Genoa out. We have plenty of stuff to fix the sail on board, but I consider we're only two days away from uh, Dominican. I didn't want to try to fix the sail underway when I could just wait and do it more properly in port. So when I get there, I'm going to take the sail off or unfurl it enough to be able to get to the damage and then repair it. Yeah, this whole trip has been very wearing. It's gotten used to the night shift, but it's still hard because I don't really sleep much. I feel like sleep during the day and then stay up most like a late night. So it's been great having three people though. It's made it a lot easier. Caught two mahi today, so that was pretty sweet. So we're headed to Ocean World Marina. Land ho! We can finally see the Dominican in the distance. It's been so long since we've been in land, like over a week, or a week, I guess. So it'll be great to finally get there and dock up and go check things out. You can see it just out there in the distance. Might be a little hard in the camera, but um, yeah, it was, it was kind of hidden by the clouds for a little while. There were a lot of clouds this morning. Yeah, we got some gnarly, really gnarly stuff over here. If you go too off course to the right, like by like 20 feet, you're gonna be yeah. surfing into the rocks. That does not look fun. Look at that, right there. Boy, look at that. That would that would be nasty. Yeah, yeah stay close to that green one. Not in right there. Boy, that is some gnarly stuff. When you go off course over there, you're messed up. It's probably pretty shallow right there too though. Although we don't have the charts for here. We do on the tablet though, so yeah. we're good. Look, look at that, look at that one coming. Look at that breaking. Yeah. All right, Captain Rob, what do you think? Are you comfortable? No, it's not that comfy coming in here. I mean, we have some big stuff over here, but it's nice and calm right here in the middle. And then it cuts pretty sharp once you get in here. All right, do you see right after that green one? Yeah. Okay. All right, and that's, see that building right there? That's the fuel dock. So what you want to do is cut this green and then come right into the fuel dock. Like the building? That building, that, that, that concrete on that side. See the boat already there?
days at sea, a torn sail, and getting low on fuel, we finally made it to the Dominican Republic. Good. You get intense, man. This is a different kind of boat. Driving this thing is not. It's not like driving a cat. You have to drive it fast. You're welcome. Thank you. Awesome. While fueling up the boat, the officials came on board and checked us in to the Dominican. Before arriving to Ocean Marina, we called ahead to make sure we could get a slip to dock the boat. After settling in and getting our sea legs back, we quickly started on some boat projects. We've been back in the Dominican Republic for one day and uh, took on a big project today. I had to hire some people to help. Um, we put exterior tint on the boat. And the idea is that you have to tint on the outside, the tent will heat up, and then the wind will blow the heat off. So it should really reduce the heat inside. It also looks a lot better. So here's a window without the tint. And you can see in pretty well, but like the black area around the windows don't really look great. So to improve that now one thing that kind of sucks we had to remove all the hatches for this job so all the hatches had to come off and then they had to be re re-siliconed and put back on but it creates a much more consistent look across where you can see through and where you can't it definitely provides more privacy Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week's video as we get out and explore the Dominican Republic.